Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a video for you guys in regards to studying medicine and all the questions that you guys have ever wanted to ask me. I'm put up on Instagram for all of you to send in all your messages. I've got all your messages here and it's a lot of messages so I'm gonna try my best to go through as many as I can and if I don't answer your question be sure that I will try my best to reply to each one one by one privately as well so I'll try and do as many as I can in this video so the first question was what questions do they ask in the interview Seppi and I we both had these folders where we would revised and gone through questions that we could potentially get so the best advice I can give you is to Google forums that for medical students or people who want to study medicine and people tend to write um, the most recent questions that they have got so if I was you I would get a pen and paper and then check what other people have said they've got in the in the recent years so whether it was like last year or the year before whereas the ones that I got even though it's probably similar it's from a long time ago. It's from when I started uni over six years ago. The next question is, is the quality of education abroad the same as the UK? Um, it's not about the quality of education abroad. It's about the quality of education from the university. So you could study in England um, and your quality of education is different from one uni to another. So it really depends on the university. But for subjects like medicine or anything in the medical side, it's not really about the quality of education as much. Um, it's very self-taught. Um, because medicine is so vast, there's so much to study, the, there's not enough hours in the day for any university professor to teach you. So you have to make time yourself in your own private time and study. It's not like you go to uni and you have classes for two hours and then that's it, that's your day done. Just those two hours, whatever that professor taught you. Because they only cover a little percentage. You have to go through everything yourself. Have you graduated? Um, no, I haven't graduated yet. I graduate this summer. Do you have interviews like UK medical schools? Yes, I did have an interview to get into university, but for you to get into university, you needed at least four A-levels or in a star. So um, it was chemistry, biology, and then the other two you could choose, but one of them had to be a science-based as well. Once they are happy with your A-level grades and they're happy with your knowledge, then, then they look at your application and if they're happy with your application they'll invite you for an interview and you'll have an interview and if they're happy with your interview they'll accept you. What area of medicine would you specialise in? I've always wanted to do plastic surgery even before I got into medicine um, that was my main goal but I'll be honest I can't say that I've picked my area that I want to specialise in right now only because of the fact that every rotation that we have so what our university does is that once you go into clinical years we have rotations in different departments and we work in that department for x amount of time and every time i work in one particular department i'm like oh my god i want to do this oh my god i'm going to specialize in this department oh this is it this is my speciality and then i'll go to another department and i'll end up really liking that and then i decide oh i want to specialize in that as well so it is really difficult for me um, to pick a particular speciality because there are a few that I really like. So let's wait and see. Hopefully by the end of this year, I'll actually know exactly what I want to pick and I'll definitely tell you guys then. Do you feel alone or different in a negative way by being a pretty and fashionable in your study group? oh thank you so much you know everyone is beautiful in their own particular way and everyone's interests in life are totally different you find me interesting because you and i have similar interests whereas maybe someone who doesn't have similar interests to us they might look at us in a different way i wouldn't like someone to look at me in a particular way just because i'm not interested in the same things as they are because i wouldn't like that for myself i try not to do that to others as well 
Um, there are people out there in this world where they might not understand you and they might judge you for certain things, for certain ways you are, but who cares? You're not living your life for other people. You're living your life for you. So just live your life for you. Don't care about what other people say or what other, pe what other people think. As long as you're not harming anyone, as long as you're not harming yourself, that's all that matters. Just do what you want to do because it's only your life and you have to live it, not other people. Your life only affects you. It doesn't affect other people. And if you really think that you'll ever stop people from being negative to you or talking about you, that will never happen. It'll always be like this. Even if you're the best person on the face of the planet, people will still have something negative to say. So who cares what they say? Why did you decide to study medicine outside of the UK? All right, so that's a good question. When I applied to study medicine, um, I applied in England and um, I was speaking to Sol. So Sol's my older sister, in case you guys don't know. Um, and Sol was studying dentistry at the time in Latvia. And Sol told me, Sina, you know, the uni here is really, really good. It's amazing. Why don't you apply and study here? Um, at least we can be with one another. So I was like, oh, I don't know. She was like, you have nothing to lose, just apply. So I thought, okay, as well as applying in, in the UK, I applied to Latvia and Latvia accepted me. Um, I also got um, an acceptance in England as well, but it was quite far from where I live. Um, and my dad was like, I prefer it if you go to Latvia and be with your sister. At least you've got someone there and you guys are together. At the time, I thought it, fa it sounded so fancy to say like, oh, I study abroad. Um, and I really didn't look into the fact that once I get abroad, it's totally different. And I didn't really think about it to that extent. don't regret my decision of studying abroad whatsoever because I think my university is such an amazing university. Um, my professors are so talented uh, and I have learned so much from them. Um, the only thing that I would recommend and tell you guys is that if you're considering to study abroad, um, whether you're from America and you want to come to England, whether you're from, I don't know, Afghanistan and you want to come, you want to go to Germany, whether wherever you are in the world and you want to move from your home location to another location, just always remember that you, there's a lot of factors you have to take in consideration and it's not just studying, it's also you're going to be living somewhere that has a different culture to you. You're going to be living somewhere that has a different language to you. Like in my sense, I went to Latvia, I couldn't speak the language. In my university, everything is taught in English, everything is English, but I'm talking about just living in the country itself. It's hard when you're going to the shops and the person at the shop doesn't understand what you're saying. Or um, there's a lot of things like this that you have to take into consideration, which I hadn't at the time. And these were things that I felt that I struggled a little bit with, just um, getting used to people's mentality and getting used to um, the culture. The culture difference um, is such a big, big difference. Um, but once you get a hang of it, then yeah, it's okay. But these are these are things that I hadn't even considered. All I had thought about was my goal, which was I wanted to study medicine and the university uh, and what would be provided for me in sense of course wise university wise and the outcome and i didn't think about everything else like being away from my family already medicine is so stressful and being away from your family on top of it it's even harder and then on top of that being in an environment that you're not used to in a country that you're a foreigner in is very difficult so these are things that you have to take in consideration luckily our university are very supportive we have counsellors that are provided to us 
uh, free of charge um, because they know that how hard it is for students to be away from their family and their loved ones and to make such a big move to another country at such a young age um, and uh, it's nice that we have they support us so much they support our international community a lot and I really love that about our uni but I don't know what university you're going to apply to um, but I would say just consider all this that I'm telling you as well and see if you're prepared for this. What did you work as during your summers as a medical student? So I wasn't working every single summer as a medical student. Um, only in recent years I've been doing clinical placements where I work in placements in different countries. So I've worked in England, I've worked in Iran, I've worked in Latvia, I've worked in a few countries um, for practical experience um, and I did it out of my own choice because I felt that it would just only help me become a better doctor and it has. <laughs> Someone has asked me, is it hard? Um, yes, definitely medicine is hard. The reason why it's hard is not because you have to be a special superman or superwoman to study medicine, but you have to have a lot of willpower. You have to have a lot of determination. You have to be consistent. You have to have self-control push yourself and motivation and these are all these words that I'm throwing out there but it's true you have to be able to be someone that you can actually um, sit down and commit to reading to studying because that's what medicine is it's just reading 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 that's what's hard that's what's hard that when all your other friends that aren't studying medicine are calling you telling you to come to a party on Saturday night and you can't because you're studying um, on Sunday you can't because you're studying and every single day you can't because you're studying if it's your birthday and you can't have a party to celebrate your birthday because you're studying because on Monday you have an exam and you know, you have to have this commitment. Whoever tells you they didn't do this or they didn't go through this in medical school and, you know, it was easy, you know, I wouldn't believe everything <laughs> that people say. Um, sometimes people just say that because they want to say that they're that special seed, they're that special one that actually, for some reason, passed everything without studying at all. But if that was the case, then why did they even you know, need to go to university. They could have just got the degree straight away and gone and done the state exam straight away and they would have passed if they were that special. So don't believe in stuff like this. And don't believe if anyone tells you it's too hard, you can't do it, because you can. Everyone's brain is capable of doing medicine, but not everyone has the willpower and the determination to sit down and study. And that's what's hard. I have this thing where when I'm studying, I can get distracted so quickly I, or my brain just keeps wandering off and I read on this. They say, just keep training yourself. No, I don't. I don't speak Russian. Our university taught us how to speak Latvian, so I know how to speak a little bit of Latvian, but that's about it. How do you study high volume of content in short amount of time? Oski help. I would say in a short amount of time if you've got a lot to study pick what's the priority study them because in every subject in every module there's particular points that are the priority and they're always going to examine you on those and you kind of know which ones they are because the teachers always emphasize on them a lot in class try to organize your time overall in a way where you study a little bit every single day and then this way when it comes to your exams you're only just revising everything isn't fresh to you one of my friends told me first time you read something is the hardest then after that it's easy and it just keeps getting easier and ever since they told me that it's made it easier for me so I just push myself I talk to myself and tell myself you know what it's only going to get easier and easier 
I just think of the bigger picture and I think of what I want and that pushes me as I think that I want to be a doctor and this is what I have to do to become a doctor and that's my end goal so who cares about anything else and that's what just you know keeps pushing me to study more the next thing is I don't like failing and you know everyone's been there where you failed an exam and you had to retake it because you didn't do that good or you never got the grade that you wanted in the exam it wasn't as high as you wanted I hate that feeling so because I don't like to have that feeling it pushes me motivates me to study I don't like to be asked a question in class and not know the answer so because of that that pushes me that motivates me so kind of see where what it is that will push you and motivate you and use that as your kryptonite to push you to study. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I've given you good advice and this is stuff that you can take and use for yourself. If there's anything else that you want to ask me, then please make sure to message me and I will answer all your messages. If there is anything else that you guys would like me to make a video of, then please let me know and write it in the comments down below. If you guys want to see how I study, then write it in the comment down below and also don't forget to press like and i love you guys so much